Well, one of the best blues guitarists out there right now, Philip Sace, has gotten his hands on a PRS Silver Sky, and as you can imagine, in his hands, it just absolutely rings. <laughs> Now from that footage I showed you guys, I've done my best to try and slow it down and find some stills to give us a look at the body of the guitar because in true Philip Sace fashion, it looks like there is already some wear going on to the body of the guitar. If you look kind of up by the forearm area, down by the bridge, and then even some pick wear up above the pick guard. You can see that in some of the different angles I'll throw up on your guys' screen and it's just crazy. But so true, the way Philip plays the guitar, how aggressive he is, how hard he is, on those instruments how just they're just workhorses and man they get worked just incredibly hard now the one thing we got to mention here though however is that don't expect this silver sky to go and look like an old 60s strat that's been absolutely beat to hell after decades of playing because that's what philip normally does to his instruments i mean look at mother it's just absolutely mangled and i love it it's epic but He's playing an Onyx Silver Sky. Now, those guitars were only produced from 2018 to 2019, and PRS discontinued the finish right before they actually started switching over to Nitro finish guitars. Now, the way PRS is with their Nitro and Poly finish transitionary periods, there is a lot of conflicting information even from PRS, depending on the customer service rep that you get, at least from what I've seen. People have sent me different emails where they're saying that, oh no, Nitro finish only occurred in 2020. Others have said that guitars that were built in 2019 as early on as the summer were actually finished in Nitro. Now, it's most likely that the guitar he's playing is Poly finished. That's um, just what those guitars were most likely produced in the range of. And it is totally possible that a few did squeak through that are Nitro finished. So in order for us to actually know what finish Philip got on his Silver Sky, we're just gonna have to wait and see if he keeps playing it, keeps playing it live, and over the next few months, the next year, if we get to see it and all of a sudden it's just worn absolutely down the only way a Nitro guitar would, in Philip's hands, mind you, but still, if it wears down the way you'd expect a Nitro guitar to wear down, well then we know he's playing a Nitro Onyx Silver Sky, one of the few ones that was probably produced in late 2019. However, if it ends up kind of just looking like this with the the way poly guitars do wear, again, Philip is gonna do some work on that thing no matter what finish it has, but that'll be the best way of knowing for sure. We can't say for 100% certainty that it is a poly guitar or that it is a nitro guitar, although I know Philip, especially you know, playing old school Stratocasters, vintage strats, and I believe some very high-end custom shop ones as well. I'm no expert on Philip's gear, so if you know more about his gear, please let us know in the comments down below. But as far as I understand, he doesn't really play a lot of poly youth or finished guitars. So it could be a first kind of thing for him, and who knows, maybe that was also a deliberate thing as well with him thinking, okay, the Silver Sky, it's a more modern guitar, and maybe he wanted to play a guitar where it's not gonna wear it down, and just a bit of a different vibe overall. Because I believe I saw something around the time that this was kind of making its rounds around the internet again, sent to me by a few of you guys, so thank you those uh, who sent this to me. Um, I believe Philip had made a comment around when the Silver Sky was released saying something along the lines of, I think it's a cool guitar, but it's just not my thing, it's not my vibe, um, when someone asked if he'd gotten his hands on one yet. But it appears like obviously that has changed and he's playing one, and if he's playing it live, he's obviously enjoying the guitar, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Personally, I do hope it is a nitro finish guitar because that would be absolutely insane. If Phil has his hands on a nitro finish Silver Sky and he plays it consistently for a few months, not even a year, that is going to be the world's very first naturally relic Silver Sky. That's just a given the way he plays, how hard he is in the instruments, how aggressive his picking style is. It's going to wear absolutely just crazily. And I really would like to see it because that would be interesting to actually see a Silver Sky that's nitro finish that's actually been worn like with real wear. I've seen some builders online have done their takes on a Relic Silver Sky and there is one that was done and I believe it was a Fiesta Red that I actually really liked. Um, it definitely is not for everyone but I thought that one was very tastefully done. If I can go back and find it I'll throw up an image uh, on the screen for you guys but if I don't, I'm sorry, I couldn't end up finding it in my, uh, just probably my photo album on my phone. However, um, there are other ones I've seen people have done online as well, and personally, they're just not for me. I just don't think they look that great, and just goes against the vibe of what the Silver Sky is. A very modern guitar with modern finishes, and a modern aesthetic, and mo a modern take on a Strat, let's be real, right? So... I don't know. Seeing the way Philip could relic a Nitro Silver Sky, though, I think could be really cool and give us a good indication of what our Nitro Silver Skies might look like in a decade. Um, if that, the way he plays it, it just is so crazy how quickly it goes. But I really wanted to share this with you guys, and I thought it was awesome to see someone of Philip's stature, his incredible talent, one of the blues legends of kind of the modern era. Uh, to see another one like him picking up a Silver Sky I think is just absolutely cool and maybe helps build some credibility to the instrument as well for people who haven't quite given it the full, honest, no judgments try. Um, they are really great instruments, that's for sure, and if he's playing one live, I mean, what does that tell you, right? It's good enough for Philip. It's good enough for... All of us, I'm pretty sure, right? So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it all the way to the end and you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet and enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. You're going to get recommended my content no matter what from watching one of my videos all the way to the very end. And if you do want to be notified when the next video of mine comes out, please hit that bell button as well because hitting subscribe is not going to notify you. you got to hit that bell button as well. So until the next time, you guys, thanks again so much for watching today's video. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Anyway, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see.